Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. And this week, we have three stories for you. The first hydrogen electric fuel cell airplane in France. We have Textron pausing orders for the Bonanza and the Baron. And then also the EAA wants the Piper 80 rescinded. Let's get to it. First up this week is a cool one. This is a light sport demonstrator aircraft that uses hydrogen electric propulsion system. Now this is from a company called Beyond Aero. They announced this week that they flew their demonstrator called a Blerio, uh, which is, well, a name related to uh, a historical aircraft in France. And they did that in early January. Uh, the Blerio completed 10 takeoffs and landings over six weeks to validate the 85 kilowatt propulsion system. Uh, the electric motors was powered using a one-third battery power and a two-third gaseous uh, hydrogen system compressed in three tanks to nearly 5,000 PSI. Beyond Aero hopes to create electric business aircraft using hydrogen propulsion system within the decade, which is really cool. So we'll keep you updated if we hear about this, but it's always good to hear uh, companies kind of pushing the envelope and finding, well, new ways to power aircraft. Next up, kind of a weird story. Textron confirmed that they are not currently taking orders for new Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Textron really hasn't released any details as to why they're pausing orders uh, or when they will be resuming to accept them. The company said in a statement, to ensure the best experience for our customers throughout every stage of their ownership journey, Textron Aviation has temporarily suspended additions to the order book for the Beechcraft Bonanza. Now we'll keep you updated if we hear more, but uh, yeah, this is a bit sad. Uh, hopefully this is not the end completely of these two type of aircraft uh, that have been around for a very, very long time. Uh, last up this week, the EAA is pushing back on the airworthiness directive for 31,000, 31,000 high wing pipers. The uh, AD was implemented due to incidents on the PA-12 and the PA-14, which resulted in deformed rudders. Now, both incident aircraft had been modified using aftermarket engine and then also aftermarket tail beacons. The EAA says that the AD is flawed in regulatory process, scope, and requirements. And they also continue to say later that at current production and supply rates, retrofitting all 31,000 aircraft would take wait for it, 75 years. Uh, I kind of have to agree with them here. This is a very specific type of incident that has involved basically two aircraft that are not straight out of production. And I think uh, it's a bit of an overreach. So uh, we'll keep you updated and hopefully the FA listens and kind of reviews the whole process. All right, that's it. That's all we have for you this week. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. And last of this week, the AA... <laughs> Can't talk. <laughs> <laughs>